All right, have water and a towel. And again, if you have access to play music, it will be more fun for you to have some music going on. Um, we'll start with a warm up. We're gonna start on our hands and knees um, in tabletop. All right, again, I'm Natasha. Welcome to this animal style hit class. Okay, I'm gonna ditch the sweatshirt and hopefully it'll warm up really quickly. All right, come on down to the hands and knees. Let's just actually sit on the knees really quick and start to engage the shoulders and kind of lubricate the shoulder joint. So big circles, backwards, circle forward, and then find a moment of stillness. Maybe the fingertips reach your sides and the mat. Draw the navel in. Shoulders back and down. Close the eyes. Relax the muscles in the face. Soften through the forehead, the eyebrows the jaw and the tongue and just take a moment to listen to your surroundings calm the mind calm the body we'll take a few deep breaths together before we get started inhale big sigh out the mouth let go of the stale air big breath in Big sigh out. This time maybe you exhale on the next one through the nose. Big breath in. And exhale, feel the back of the throat, that vibration happen as you push the air out the nose. Let's drop the neck over to one side. A little shake, yes. Drop it down. Shake it out on the other side, and then just any kind of movements that feel good on the neck for you. Circling. All right, we're gonna take the hands out like you're doing a plank on right out in front of you. Flex the fingers back, and then point the fingers forward like you're trying to touch the inside of the forearm. Inhale, flex back. Exhale, point forward. Inhale, flex back. Exhale, point forward. Fist, same thing, up down, up, down. Hold this pointed fist and then see if you can compress a little bit of weight onto the back of the hand on the mat. It's very intense, very quickly. Flex, point, little pressure. Your fingers might open. And then we'll circle the wrists. Circle both ways. All right, here we're gonna start to blink. So just because we do a lot, we're doing a lot on the hands today, I really want your forearms and wrists to be nice and prepared. So fast blinks, pull the arms over the head and then start to blink even faster, faster. Open, close, as wide as you can. Open, close, belly in, ribs wrapped in, nice strong core, activated four, ooh, feeling the burn. Three, these suck, two and one. All right, give them a gentle shake and then imagine you're like turning light bulbs twist twist all right come on to all fours spread your fingers index finger is going to go forward crease of the elbows wrap forward so that we can then push the shoulders down in protraction so we have this wrapping of the triceps turning on your serratus muscles and then we'll take an inhale lift head chest and tailbone pretend you're going to pull your mat backwards exhale round the spine imagine you're pushing the mat forward and like you're pushing down through your floor Inhale, lift, exhale, round, shh. Inhale, lift, exhale, round, and then start to move sideways, barrel circles, lateral, to the right, get a little weird, to the left, spin. Good, one more time, little wrist stretch, turn the wrist, the fingertips sideways, and give it a little rock as you press weight into the fingertips. Take the fingers back towards your body and then give it a rock forward and back. See if you can maintain that compression all the way into the palm. Two more. Good, and while we're here, let's tuck the toes under so we can just get the, the toes into a nice stretch. Then flip the hands upside down. Put a little pressure in that counter stretch. Give your fingers a wiggle, shoulders actively pressing down. Come on to the toes and just sit for a moment. Another deep breath in. And I like to play around with this fun little balance. So we'll go from sitting on our toes to rocking back on the heels. See if you can 
catch, maybe you fall on your butt, maybe you catch the landing and then slowly come back to the knees. Two more, inhale, slowly land without slamming the knees down. Let's add this little cactus chest open and then lean back, lean back, chest closes, forearms meet. Knees come down, Woo. <laughs> chest forward, knees up, elbows back. Retract the shoulder blades and then protract, exhale. All right, come down on the hands. Okay, so I'm gonna set a timer. The first exercise is just gonna be bird dogs, opposite arm and leg movement. So very simple, still a warm up, And then we'll start to get a little bit more and more active. All right, I don't know if you can hear this. I'll turn it as loud as it goes. Here we go, set yourself in tabletop. Spread your fingers, right foot back, left arm forward. Simply start to engage the core and pull the arms away and then elbow to knee, elbow to knee, reach. Spread the right fingers and anchor yourself down one more time. Hold it and release. Left leg, right arm, set yourself up. Push the left shoulder down, spread your fingers, reach long, pull the belly in, wrap the rib cage. Tap, knee to elbow, four, Three, two, one, come down, switch sides. Right leg back, left arm forward, push the shoulder down, engage, find your perfect posture, your neutral spine. Tap, extend, tap, extend. Feel the abdominals crunch as you draw that elbow to knee and that big reach and extension. Last one, pull it out. Tap, four, three, two, and one, right on time. All right, come up to a downward facing dog and we're gonna just take down dog to plank and then a hovering, you'll see, <laughs> here we go. Down dog to plank, down dog to plank. Two more, you can start to roll the spine if that feels good. And then on one, four shoulder taps. Four, three, try not to rock too much. Two, one, now this is called we're gonna come back to this hovering ch uh, child's pose position called loaded beast, all right. And then hovering table, loaded beast, hovering table, loaded beast, hovering table. On the fourth one, we'll stay and add some kickbacks. Four, three, two, stay low, down dog, into plank for four, three, move a little quicker, two, and one, shoulder tap, four, three, two, one, loaded beast to table, hover, back, four, back, fourth, back, and hold, all right, circle out the wrist, take a little counter stretch, next one we're going to take loaded beast to a lizard lunge, stepping outside the hand, set up, here we go, lizard, Woo, come back, lizard, feel the stretch in the hip flexor in the quad and pull your lizard back forward shoulders go over fingertips and you land on the whole foot use the core to get you there now we're gonna stay on this one add a twist reach up push down come back step it out hold rotate shoulders to stack Come down, push the shoulders down to step to your hover. Loaded beast, lizard lunge, twist, come down. Loaded beast, lizard lunge, add your twist, draw the belly in, come down. Hover, lunge, twist, down. Hover, lunge, twist, and down. All right, last one. Again, circle the wrists in between. Flip the palms over. Come into Sphinx. Forearms down, chest through. All right, hold it here, tuck your toes. Hit your forearm plank, stretch in Sphinx. Forearm plank, you can keep the toes tucked. Exhale, four times, here's your last one. And then we'll lower all the way down, bring your hands by your chest for a full push up. Up to the ground. You can come through the knees if you need a modification. Just two and down. Slide your forearms out, circle the wrists. Push fists down if you want or palms. 
as you go from Sphinx to lifted forearm plank. Lower, push away. One more, lower. Shoulders protract, belly sucks in. Quads on. Now hands to the chest, tuck your toes. Maybe you come through the knees for your two big push-ups. And lower, hold Sphinx. All right, that was the timer, so we're just gonna take some time to stretch here before we go into the next round of drills. Breathe, that was your warm-up round. Let's take the right hand um, parallel to the top of the mat and then reach the left hand back. See if you can hug the heel in. Take some breaths here. Maybe your forehead rests on the forearm. And then maybe you can lift the knee up. Very intense stretch on the quad. Send it back, switch arms. Reach back, hug the heel in. Maybe you drop the head. Really hug the heel in. Maybe you pick up the knee pretty intense. See what you're feeling. Just notice, no force, no judgment. Release it out. Let's try to press a little bit higher, waking up the back body. So some of these do take a little bit of mobility and range of motion, but you just do what you can in your body. Let's do a few more. Little, very lifted cobra if that feels safe in your back. And then maybe up dog. Open up the heart, pull the mat backwards. Shine the chest through, gaze up. Good, and child's pose. <sighs> All right, so before I put on the timer for our second round, which is really the animal flow, really focused on that. And that the last one is more just regular drills to get us off the hands. All right, so the first one you'll see all the time in these animal flow classes, you're gonna take your hovering table and you're gonna do a kick through, all right? So from the kick through, it's called a scorpion. It's like you're going into down dog split, but we're gonna land. You'll take it up and around, and then you're gonna land. Almost like you're gonna do a wild thing, but you don't need the flexibility. You're just gonna kind of land and fall, and then come on back where you came from, and come on back down. All right, so try it with me before we go on the timer. And it doesn't have to be exactly like mine. Basically, we're gonna kick through and we're gonna take a little scorpion up and over, take your landing, and then back where you came from, come back. And you can drop back onto the heels in this little yogi squat, then set back up for your hovering table. All right, let's go for it. And we'll do this two times through on these. So if you feel a little bit of lost in the first round, don't even worry, you'll get it by the time the minute's up and then you'll get to try it again. Here's 10 second countdown. Start in a little hovering tabletop. Spread your fingers and we're gonna kick through. Kick through. Then we're gonna take the right hand, the hand down and flip over, land come back you could go nice and slow to make it even a little more challenging or fast and then jump back and then come to your hover other side kick through take the hand down and flip hips high all the way to land hips high all the way back come back on the feet make sense come forward kick through scorpion we drop the hand we flip the hips up we land and we come back, squeeze, and if you fall back over, it's okay, just try it again. Get off the hands for a moment, maybe point the fist down and then hover, kick through, flip over, like a down dog split and then a landing and then back around and come on the feet. All right, so the next one, a little bit easier, crab taps and then lizard lunge flip, all right? Circle out the wrists. Here we go. Set up in your crown, reverse table. Opposite toe tap. Four, three, two, one. You're gonna take it into a flip, into a lunge, lizard lunge. Bring the hands down, come back where you came from. And then four, three, two, one. Just make sure you're going the opposite way. So each time you're doing a different lunge. And you can lift up, come back down. Flip it over. Crab taps, four, three, 
two, one, switch, flip, step, line up your fingers and toes, come off the hands for a moment, come back around, four taps, four, three, fingers can go any direction that feels safe in the body, just keep everything lifted out of the hands, flip, get your lizard, lift your arms up for a moment, come back through, all right, okay, so an animal cartwheel, as we keep the legs parallel to each other and we cartwheel to the side all right so let's try it we're on the clock hands down little shuffle across the mat hands down animal cartwheel shuffle so the legs don't cross they just stay parallel and we push off that inside foot so we go inside slide across all right we're going to add on to this animal cartwheel add that thread through come back stand animal cartwheel thread away come back stand up animal cartwheel like a big gorilla shuffle across thread outside the mat come back on stand animal cartwheel you might start to get the hips up higher but you don't have to thread Come back, stand, animal cartwheel. <sighs> Thread the leg outside, <sighs> come back. All right, Woo. let's be off the hands a little bit more on this last one. Side lunge with some hip mobility. All right, stand on one side of the mat, here we go. We're gonna lunge, you're gonna knee lift. You're gonna lunge and we're gonna try to come all the way down with hands if you need. Knees meet, open. Now. 90, 90 switches. Step away, come to the top, stand up. Other way, lunge, knee, lunge, sit. Knees meet, knee lift. Knees meet, knee lift. Now, away from where you started, three 90, 90 switches. Away from where you started, you step on the foot, and start again, stand up. Lunge, knee, lunge, sit. Knees meet, open, close, open, away from where you started. Three 90, 90 switches. Stand up and lift. Nice work. All right, how'd you do? So that was your practice round. Now you're kind of more familiar with what the heck we were doing. So let's push our bodies maybe a little faster. Maybe that just means working a little stronger and more efficiently. Okay, so we'll take a little bit of time to drink some water, walk it out. Hopefully that got your heart rate up. And we'll do that again in just about 30 seconds. All right. So anything you feel like you need to stretch out, again, the wrists, maybe want to circle. You can take this little chicken wing where you put the back of your hands on the ribs and let the elbows fall heavy to stretch. And maybe some little side lunges so that we can get nice and deep when we do that last one. All right, any questions about what we did? Or are you just ready to try it again? Hopefully if you're not in the class right now, you'll have a chance to jump in at another time. It's a lot of fun. You get to feel really animalistic, get a little weird, stay low to the ground. The animal cartwheel, if that was confusing for you, just feel, think of it like a shuffle, a shuffle. And if you want to make it higher, you can lift the hips and do like a mini handstand. All right. So the first one is the kick through to the scorpion flip flip back around. Set up the timer again. 10 seconds. Set up your hovering table. We can start with the right leg. I'll go left to mirror you. Belly in. Here we go. Kick through. Drop the hand. Lift the hips. Scorpion flip. Come back around like a down dog split and then jump on the hands. Start again. Hover. Kick through. Flip. Take your time. Open the hip, land on the foot, flip back. Give yourself enough momentum so you can get the flip over. Set up, kick through. 
hand down, high knee to the sky, flip, land on the foot, flip back, come down, off the hands for a moment, set up, kick through, flip it over, up, land, come back where you came from, bring it down, hands up, hands down, kick through, flip it over, use your fingertips, flip back, land, maybe one more, I think we can do it, hover, kick, flip, land, come back, whoo, all right, come down on your bottom for the crab, toe tap switches, all right, breath in, hips up, here we go, up, four, three, two, one, hands down, that same leg that's lifted is going to flip into a lunge, you can bring your arms back to get off the hands again, and then come back, back around, reset, four, three, two, now I have my other leg up and it's okay if it didn't work out, just remember to switch, lunge, off the hands, come down, flip over again, lizard, oh, oh crab, tap, <laughs> what am I saying, now we do our lizard, so we'll keep that right foot up, flip it over, push the arms to flight, come back around. If you fall on your butt, no big deal. Four, three, two, one. I'm gonna switch my legs because I know I was on, I need the left leg forward. Left, fly, come down. Nice work. Okay, we have our animal cartwheel. Find yourself on one side of the mat. Take a deep breath in. Again, maybe a shake on the wrists. Here we go. Across the mat, shuffle. We'll practice the first part and then we'll add on the kick through. You can start to bring those hips high or you might really stay low. Think gorilla. <sighs> gorilla or handstand. <sighs> All right, next one, let's add the kick through outside of the direction you're going. So you'll kick through off the mat. Come back. Animal cartwheel. Kick through, hand down, slide through come back you could stand in between and then reset animal cartwheel maybe a fingertip if your wrists are getting tired stand animal cartwheel fingertips thread leg come back stand animal cartwheel fingertips thread come back and lift all right timer Woo. So again, come to one side of your mat. We'll do the lunge and the leg switches for hip mobility. We're not on the hands that much this time. Here we go, lunge across, lunge. Drive the knee in, lunge to sit. Now knees meet, open, close, open. Away from where you started, 90-90 pigeon switches. And we do three, we turn, we step the outside foot up to stand other way lunge knee lunge skandasana if you do yoga all the way down knee turns knee opens pivot open 90 90 switch three two away from where you started outside foot steps we drive it up go down up down to the ground knee open knee open we have our 90 90 pigeon switches and then we turn step the outside foot forward lift up to rise down let's get one more in even if the timer goes off let's finish this out drop lift drop lift 90 90 knees up knees down knees up knees down step across push your weight into the front foot stand up how did that go nice job all right take a breather walk it out Heart rate's probably high. Drink some water. I'm gonna drink some water. Cartwheel, if that was confusing for you. Just feel, think of it like a shuffle. A shuffle. And if you wanna make it higher, you can lift the hips and do like a mini handstand. All right. So the first one is the kick through to the scorpion flip, flip back around. Set up the timer again. 10 seconds. Set up your hovering table. We can start with the right leg. I'll go left to mirror you. 
belly in. Here we go. Kick through. Drop the hand, lift the hips, scorpion flip, come back around like a down dog split, and then jump on the hands, start again, hover, kick through, flip, take your time, open the hip, land on the foot, flip back, give yourself enough momentum so you can get the flip over, set up, kick through, hand down high, knee to the sky, flip, land on the foot, flip back. Come down, off the hands for a moment, set up. Kick through, flip it over, up, land. Come back where you came from, bring it down. Hands up, hands down. Kick through, flip it over, use your fingertips. Flip back, land, maybe one more, I think we can do it. Hover, kick, flip, land, come back. Whoo, all right. Come down on your bottom for the crab toe tap switches. All right, breath in, hips up. Here we go. Up, four, three, two, one. Hands down. That same leg that's lifted is gonna flip into a lunge. You can bring your arms back to get off the hands again and then come back around, reset. Four, three, two, now I have my other leg up and it's okay if it didn't work out, just remember to switch. Lunge, off the hands, come down, flip over again. Lizard, oh, oh crab, tap, <laughs> what am I saying? Now we do our lizard, so we'll keep that right foot up, flip it over, push the arms to flight, come back around. If you fall on your butt, no big deal. Four, three, two, one, I'm gonna switch my legs because I know I was on, I need the left leg forward. Left, fly, come down. Nice work. Okay, we have our animal cartwheel. Find yourself on one side of the mat. Take a deep breath in. Again, maybe a shake on the wrists. Here we go. Across the mat, shuffle. We'll practice the first part and then we'll add on the kick through. You can start to bring those hips high, or you might really stay low, think gorilla. <sighs> gorilla or handstand. <sighs> All right, next one, let's add the kick through outside of the direction you're going. So you'll kick through off the mat. Come back. Animal cartwheel, kick through, hand down, slide through, come back. You could stand in between and then reset. Animal cartwheel, maybe a fingertip if your wrists are getting tired. Stand, animal cartwheel, fingertips, thread leg, come back, stand, animal cartwheel, fingertips, thread, come back, and lift. All right, timer. Woo. So again, come to one side of your mat, we'll do the lunge, and the leg switches for hip mobility. We're not on the hands that much this time. Here we go, lunge across, lunge. Drive the knee in, lunge to sit. Now knees meet, open, close, open. Away from where you started, 90-90 pigeon switches. And we do three, we turn, we step the outside foot up to stand. Other way, lunge, knee. Lunge, skandasana if you do yoga, all the way down. Knee turns, knee opens. Pivot, open. 90-90 switch, three, two, away from where you started. Outside foot steps, we drive it up. Go, down, up, down to the ground. Knee open, knee open. We have our 90-90 pigeon switches and then we turn, step the outside foot forward, lift up to rise down let's get one more in even if the timer goes off let's finish this out drop lift drop lift 90 90 knees up knees down knees up knees down step across push your weight into the front foot stand up how did that go nice job all right take a breather walk it out heart rate's probably high drink some water I'm gonna drink some water.
And if you felt confused at all on that, the next four are gonna be really straightforward, basic, and you can really push as hard as you want, okay? So I'll just give you an example. The first one is just gonna be four squat drops into foy, four, foy, four toy soldier kicks. Twist, opposite toe tap. All right, so they'll be really basic like that so that you can just push your body on the last two rounds and really go for it. And then we'll end the same way we started with the first warm up set will be our cool down. We'll do some quick abs. Sound like a plan? All right, that was your rest. Four squat drops, go as deep and as fast as you want. You don't need to keep my timing. Into four toy soldier kicks. All right, stand tall, draw the belly in. Ooh, I'm gonna take this off now. Here we go, squat drop. Four, three, two, one. Toy soldier, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Again, if you wanna go faster or slower than me, go for it. Four. Pull the belly in, really engage that front side to protect the back. Exhale, breathe it out. I hope you have some good music playing. Flat back, don't compromise by hunching over just to reach the ground. Tall, straight spine, add a big twist if you like. Here we go. Almost there. Okay. Now we really need this 10 seconds. Come back to the back of your mat and we'll just do a plank walk to a push up. All right, so we're gonna walk forward. Here we go. Plank walk, push up, one or two. Walk back. Skater, arms are gonna go up, down, up, down. Step or hop over the mat if you have more space than me. Here we go. Roll down, plank walk, two push-ups, or one, or modified on the knees. Walk back, arms go up, down, up, down. If you can, really hop over the mat. All right, here we go. Stand tall, roll down. Walk it out. Elbows 45 degrees, chest towards the mat, straight line in the body. Walk, skater. Arms go up, down, up, down, up, down, yeah? Roll it down. Last one. Two push-ups, gaze ahead, chest to floor. Walk it in, all right. Woo, okay. This is the only one where we're on the hands for a frogger hop. I've been doing these in my classes. We're gonna put our hands down. Go, frog jump forward, frog jump back. All right, frogger hops. Reach forward, jump forward. Reach down, jump back. Whew. All right, now we're gonna sit up. So we're gonna drop to our back and hit knee. Right, left, both. Start again, feet down. Frogger hop forward, frogger hop back. Those hips can go as high as you like, maybe stack over the shoulders. If you are not afraid, you're gonna tumble forward. And if you do, just cartwheel out. Drop down, I don't have a lot of space, but you're gonna drop down, right, left, double. Come to your feet, frogger hop. So this is what happens if you get too much momentum, I want you to just open the hips and cartwheel out. Keep going. And, all right. Woo, okay. Off the hands again. We're gonna do lunge jacks. Lunge, jump together four times, and then run drop. Looks like this. Go, four, jump in. Lunge, jump in, lunge, four times. Now, run, run, drop, run, run, drop. Like your shuffle, shuffle, drop, shuffle, shuffle, drop. Here we go. Jack, lunge, four. Three, two, one, go. Shuffle, shuffle, drop. Use your mat. Flat back, touch down, 
Start again. Huh. Go as fast as you like. Maybe you want to pick up the pace or you just want to work really strong and slower. Go. Don't need to talk much. Just make sure you're in 90, 90 knees and you're pushing yourself. Shoulders over hips. Or you could lean forward. Touchdown. Okay. Break. Whew. Oh my gosh. Your heart rate should be very high. We're gonna do that one more time. Okay. We can do this. We can do hard things. Walk it out. Drink water. Towel off your sweat if you need to. good to be to get that heart rate up be out of breath a little bit and then just focus on the breath to try to slow it down deep breath in you can push it out of the mouth stale air out clean air in stale air out all right we ready here we go the nice thing about doing it after is you can hit pause and take as many breaks as you want but we're gonna go for it 10 seconds, squat drops, toy soldiers. Yes, whoo, go. Touch the ground if you can, four, three, two, one. Toy soldier, four, three, two, one. Squat drop, four, three, two, one. Booty back, up, twist, twist, twist. Squat drop. <sighs> Keep going. Keep fighting this out. Twist up high. Use your breath. Jump. Exhale. Hup. Squeeze the booty at the top. And then twist. Fill the obliques as you crunch your twist. Push yourself. We can do this. We're almost done. Squat drop. Last time. Toy soldier. And take your rest. Not really a rest, but a moment to catch your breath. Plank walk, two push-ups. Inhale, exhale. Tuck the chin, round down. Walk it out, two push-ups. Make them really nice form, even if you drop to the knees. Walk back, skater across your mat. Arms go up, down. Up, down, up, down, stand, roll, Woo. walk it out, two push-ups, push the floor away, squeeze the belly in, skater, jump across, roll down, plank walk, use your shoulders, your core, your quads, tuck your tailbone, walk back, skate, I had music playing, you wouldn't hear me breathing so hard. Woo! Round down, walk it out. Two push-ups. We got this, this is it. Woo! Roll it up, skate. And there's your time. Okay, frog or hop to abs. <laughs> Set yourself up on one side of the mat. Go, reach forward jump forward reach forward jump back it might be as low as just a little frog hop down it doesn't have to be a handstand but it's more fun that way here we go knee knee double to the feet frogger forward push away hips up jump forward hips up jump back Woo. Come down to your back, tuck, right, left, double, to your feet, frogger, hop forward, oh, hip flexors, hop back, back, and hit knee, right, left, both, start again, feet down, frogger, hop forward, Woo. okay, off the hands again, 
We're gonna do lunge jacks, lunge, jump together four times, and then run drop, looks like this. Go, four, jump in, lunge, jump in, lunge, four times. Now, run, run, drop, run, run, drop, like your shuffle, shuffle, drop, shuffle, shuffle, drop. Here we go. Jack, lunge, four, three, two, one, go. Shuffle, shuffle, drop. Use your mat. Flat back, touch down, start again. Huh. Go as fast as you like. Maybe you wanna pick up the pace or you just wanna work really strong and slower. Go. Don't need to talk much, just make sure you're in 90, 90 knees and you're pushing yourself. Shoulders over hips. Or you could lean forward, touch down. Okay, break. I don't know if you can hear this. I'll turn it as loud as it goes. Here we go, set yourself in tabletop. Spread your fingers, right foot back, left arm forward. Simply start to engage the core and pull the arms away and then elbow to knee, elbow to knee, reach. Spread the right fingers and anchor yourself down one more time. Hold it and release. Left leg, right arm, set yourself up. Push the left shoulder down, spread your fingers, reach long, pull the belly in, wrap the rib cage. Tap knee to elbow, four, three, two, one. Come down, switch sides. Right leg back, left arm forward, push the shoulder down, engage. Find your perfect posture, your neutral spine. Tap, extend, tap, extend. Feel the abdominals crunch as you draw that elbow to knee and that big reach and extension. Last one, pull it out. Tap four, three, two, and one. Right on time. All right, come up to a downward facing dog. And we're gonna just take down dog to plank and then a hovering, you'll see. <laughs> Here we go, down dog to plank, down dog to plank. Two more, you can start to roll the spine if that feels good. And then on one, four shoulder taps. Four, three, try not to rock too much. Two, one. Now this is called, we're gonna come back to this hovering ch uh, child's pose position called loaded beast all right and then hovering table loaded beast hovering table loaded beast hovering table on the fourth one we'll stay and add some kickbacks four three two stay low down dog into plank for four three move a little quicker two and one shoulder tap four three two one loaded beast to table hover back four back forth back and hold all right circle out the wrist take a little counter stretch next one we're going to take loaded beast to a lizard lunge stepping outside the hand set up here we go lizard Woo, come back lizard feel the stretch in the hip flexor and the quad and pull your lizard back forward shoulders go over fingertips and you land on the whole foot use the core to get you there now we're gonna stay on this one add a twist reach up push down come back step it out hold rotate shoulders to stack come down push the shoulders down to step to your hover loaded beast lizard lunge twist come down loaded beast lizard lunge add your twist draw the belly in come down hover lunge twist down hover lunge twist and down all right last one again circle the wrists in between flip the palms over come into sphinx Forearms down, chest through. All right, hold it here, tuck your toes. Hit your forearm plank, stretch and sphinx. Forearm plank, you can keep the toes tucked. Exhale, four times, here's your last one. 
and then we'll lower all the way down. Bring your hands by your chest for a full push up. Up to the ground. You can come through the knees if you need a modification. Just two and down. Slide your forearms out, circle the wrists. Push fists down if you want, or palms as you go from sphinx to lifted forearm plank. Lower, push away. One more, lower. Shoulders protract, belly sucks in, quads on. Now hands to the chest, tuck your toes. Maybe you come through the knees for your two big push-ups. And lower, hold sphinx. All right, that was the timer, so we're just gonna take some time to stretch here before we go into the next round of drills. Breathe, that was your warm-up round. Let's take the right hand um, parallel to the top of the mat and then reach the left hand back. See if you can hug the heel in. Take some breaths here. Maybe your forehead rests on the forearm. And then maybe you can lift the knee up. Very intense stretch on the quad. Send it back, switch arms. Reach back, hug the heel in. Maybe you drop the head. Really hug the heel in. Maybe you pick up the knee pretty intense. See what you're feeling. Just notice, no force, no judgment. Release it out. Let's try to press a little bit higher, waking up the back. Backwards, circle forward. And then find a moment of stillness. Maybe the fingertips reach your sides and the mat. Draw the navel in. Shoulders back and down. Close the eyes. Relax the muscles in the face. Soften through the forehead, the eyebrows, the jaw, and the tongue. And just take a moment to listen to your surroundings. Calm the mind. Calm the body. Hey guys, so for the last few videos, my iPad has just completely cut out because I'm all out of storage from filming all these long classes for you. I bought a hard drive and I'm unloading everything so that I can continue to make videos for you. So I just have to apologize for these weird endings and I had to get creative with the edits because it did cut out um, somewhere earlier in class and I didn't get to the abs part. But hopefully you still enjoyed this animal flow and thanks so much for being here. I don't anticipate this problem anymore. Let me know what else you wanna see from me. Please leave me a comment. Let me know you were here. Thanks, bye.